Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yep. Release set. Oh, this is gonna happen. Oh. Oh, no. You know, this is a this is an alternate method that Bob is using here. He's, uh, he's decided instead of going through the roadblock, he will go over the roadblock. Are we gonna clear this? Dude, that Ford GT got some air. Oh, it still might get the other roadblock. Hold on. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. And yes, folks, we're back with Mr. Burnout Bob. It has been a while since Burnout Bob has made an appearance on Brick Rigs, but today we have some really awesome crash scenarios. A lot of these actually came from the comments section. You guys are awesome when it comes to saying what you want to see when it comes to new crash scenarios. So we're going to do a couple of these here today. I've already got one set up here. So yeah, if you guys have any more suggestions for future crash episodes here in Brick Rigs, comment below. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and click that notification bell. But anyways, folks, let's do this. Alright, so our first scenario is a big one. And as you can see, it is raining. We are out by the airport and we've had a bit of an accident here. I've already set up the scene. We had a plane go down, probably driven by a Bob that has no clue what he's doing. But luckily, it looks like everybody has made it off the plane. They're all standing outside of it here. Uh, don't ask me why the radio control tower or the air traffic control is right there. But it just is because Bob's built the, uh, they built the airport. And we all know that they have no clue what they're doing when they build stuff. So, let's go over this real quick anyways we're gonna get a real uh, close up here we've got a plane that has uh gone off the runway kind of skidded down broke off a couple wings the damage is uh, already quite massive but yeah actually i didn't realize all the seats had shifted over from that side over down to this side but it's okay all the bobs are all standing up there so yeah the uh the plane went down the brick ricks fire department has uh responded to the scene uh, you can see him here we got the uh, ambulance I uh, got a couple engines, or I got a tower ladder, I believe is what they call this. You got an engine over here, and we even have like a little small response vehicle. So yeah, they're all out here taking care of this. Little do they know that Burnout Bob is about to arrive with another airplane and try to land here. So, let's get to this. Alright, so we have a Concord here. This is by Kevin Is There TV. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. 2,000 bricks. These things are actually, I believe, pretty fast. So let's go ahead, spawn this in. I'm sure Burnout Bob can handle this. 2,000 bricks. So I think in total for this crash scenario, we have about, I'd have to say 10,000 bricks, maybe 12,000 spawned in. So, oh boy. I can hear something going on here. Oh, the propellers are going. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna quickly observe the plane here. Is there anything interior? Like when this thing, oh yeah, there is. Look at that. You got full blown interior in this. All right, wait, where do we go poo at? Um, is there a bathroom back here? Oh, I guess on Concords you just have to hold it. All right, so uh, let's set this up and we are gonna approach in from probably that side of the runway and yeah. All right, this is Burnout Bob coming in for a landing here. He has no clue what he's doing. Hasn't heard anything from the air traffic control, so uh, um, we need to we need to pull up a little bit here. This uh, this is going down pretty quick. Oh, here we go. Oh, we are moving fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, nose dive. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yep. Release set. Oh, this is gonna happen. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, he's coming! He's sliding through! Oh, that was a direct hit! Oh, uh oh! What just happened? Oh, you know what? I bet you those uh, the tanks on the jet had some. Oh, they probably had some canisters in it. That wasn't too terrible of an explosion, but geez, everything is gone. Where is that, Bob? No, that's not Bob. I don't know where Bob went. Wait, where did Bob go in all of this? Oh, there goes a piece of the uh, the Concord. Oh, uh, we'll check the damage. Where's Bob? Hey, Bob is still in here. Wait, this thing actually held up pretty well, I must say. I mean, the back half of it's gone. Let's go full speed here. 
All right, this thing's gonna, oh, it's gonna float down, but it's on fire. Question is, is Bob gonna actually make it out of this? Uh, we're rooting for burnout Bob here, uh-oh. Uh, on, we're going down still. Oh, that looked like a piece of the front of the cockpit, all right. Hey, hold on, Bob out of here. Bob made it. <laughs> I can't say the same for everybody else, but Bob made it, woo. Uh, let's look in here, is everybody, oh, oh, oh it's all on fire. Oh, that was epic. That was a that was a heck of a way to start the episode here. Now, question is, where did the other jet go? I'm pretty sure it exploded in a thousand pieces. Look at the debris field, actually. This went all the way... Wait, what? That's one of the fire trucks. Oh, my, that... Okay, just to give you perspective how far this flew, there's an air traffic control tower way over there. The debris field is going to be massive. Whoa, there's stuff out here. Still pieces here. Anything out this way? There's a piece over here. All right, let's go back to the actual crash site. Question is, did any of the uh, any of the cars make it out? Uh, that is the wing off of the... Was that off the Concorde? I think it was. Oh, my. Oh, and here's a chunk of the plane that was crashed on the ground. Is that... That's the cockpit of it. Yeah, you can see there's the front window. Uh, there's the seats. Actually, the cockpit held up quite well. Man, I really wish I could do this in real life. Just grab some Legos and chunk them across the, the yard or something and crash them. These are too expensive to do in real life. Uh, there's the truck, the little rescue truck that was parked there. Hey, the tower ladder actually sustained minimal... Well, actually, it flipped over, but it's not too bad. Couple bobs are actually still standing here. Completely missed the ambulance. Any damage? No, I don't see any. And the air traffic control tower made it too. So, we that was just a direct hit on the crash site and we just basically scooted everything out this way that was awesome you know this air traffic control tower is kind of taunting me i do want to run a plane into this is that a piece of wing sticking out of it oh wow that's uh that's quite something there uh, let's see oh i wish i had a camera up here man i really wish we could record multiple things at once could you imagine seeing that plane come in that would have been epic all right, we're going to grab the Concord real quick. I think I might be able to hop out and maybe stand inside this uh, if I can time it right. But yeah, let's get the Concord. I need to get back in the driver. Wow. <laughs> uh, which one's the driver's seat? There it is. Yeah, woo. All right, let's get moving. All right, we are heading for the air traffic control tower. Oh, we got to pull up here. Oh, come on, get that jet going that way. There we go. Slow it down. Question is, can I get out in time? Okay, I hopped out of it. Oh, it's tilting sideways. Can I hit up? Can I get up in here, please? Uh, hold on, get up in here. Oh, what the heck? It went sideways. Uh-oh. Oh, it's still coming, though. Oh, it's gonna drill this. Oh, no! <laughs> oh! Oh, it hit! Oh, it didn't explode! The Uh-oh. Oh, and we're going down. Oh, we're gonna crush the fire truck. Oh, this is epic! Oh, no! <laughs> Uh, and uh, is it gonna explode? No. Ye oh, you can hear stuff shattering. Full speed. Oh, on. Oh, question is, is Bob gonna be able to walk out of this? Oh, hey, we're pretty okay right now, huh? Can we uh, move some pieces? Oh, you can still see the wait. The jet just implanted itself into the ground. What the heck? Uh, can I can I bust my way out of here? Uh, let's just we're gonna free camp through it. There we go. Whoa, it just exploded. Wow, that was awesome. That was worth being inside. Uh, what does the jet look like? Yeah, the jet actually sustained not that much damage, even though it came in sideways and hit it. I think most of the damage actually came from the landing over here. But anyways, folks, I think that's going to wrap it up for this first crash scenario. That was a, that's a pretty big one. But anyway, oh, you can still see the antenna. It's still turning. <laughs> still just a going. All right, let's uh, set up for the next one. All right, so we are ready for our next scene here. You can see we have a bit of a police chase here. So, the police, which I don't think this is the only time we're going to use this. I'm kind of testing it out here. The police have set up a little bit of a roadblock. This is made by CL86. This is a explosive roadblock. Now, it's not explosive as in blow up half the map explosive. It's uh, pretty tiny, but they're here to stop vehicles. So what we're going to do... We're going to drive a vehicle through, try to push through the police, which they've had their little previous pursuit here, and they've stopped a Ferrari. So we got to push through them, push them out to here, and then I've got to set up one more little explosive roadblock to go off. 
Now, I'm hoping that this uh, creates enough chaos to affect the buildings around here. Uh, normally, when I set one up at this intersection, I'll have just like a ton of bomb trucks waiting here, and I'll just level the block. But, like I said, you guys want to see a little less on the explosive side, and a little bit more on the just pure destruction side. So, we're going to be doing that. Now, we do have some buildings here. Uh, Kylos Wireless has created a couple of these. You have like this construction site. But you got the Bob construction workers over here working for a hard-earned paycheck and over here We have a dealership now before we blow this up. I have to look at this dealership real quick You know what? Maybe the story is the person is returning a car to the dealership He feels he got ripped off or the person being burnout Bob and it just so conveniently happens that there was a police chase right in front of it And yeah, there's the it's all blocked off uh, Let's go ahead and walk into here real quick. Just check this out. I like to check stuff out sometimes before I blow it up uh, and hit the switch. You know, we're just gonna go in. <laughs> Whoa! This is nice. There's water. Dude, look at the cars in here. These are actually kind of cool looking. So yeah, you got all this. You got the, uh, looks like the dealership. Uh, looks like the main counters back here. Uh, what's through here? Oh, yes, the evil manager. Every dealership has an evil manager. Uh, let's stand right here. Oh, uh, he's got all this money. You know, if we hit this, there's gonna be money flying everywhere. It's there's even a switch back here. Huh. That is cool. So, yeah, we've got this dealership. Very awesome looking. I love the uh, the windows and stuff. So I feel like this is going to actually smash pretty well. But anyways, let's go ahead. I need to go choose a vehicle. Now, I'm thinking we're going to go big. I'm thinking maybe a diesel, but I have to find a diesel that's got the speed. I can't just be slow when I go through here. So it's going to take a little bit of planning. To figure out how this is gonna work so we're gonna get a pretty I'm gonna call it a pure crash here a little less uh, just big booms all right so I said I was gonna go big but then I spotted this I just crashed it this is a uh, Ford GT by carbon this is pretty sick looking this is like one of the top creations on the workshop right now and oh that's got the pickup it's a little a uh, little on the slick side but oh that's a tree Oh, this is gonna work. If I get enough of a run here, I feel like I can push through. Now, I could go ahead and say, oh, let's just use like a big drag diesel. That would definitely get through that crash. But I wanna attempt with this first. Let's try to get more of a natural looking crash. And if this doesn't work, we can always go big in order to get through that roadblock. But up, oh, that's gonna be a fence. I cannot drive this. I've already destroyed half the vehicle before we've even actually uh, done the uh, crash. Oh boy, I don't know how this is going to work. Alright, here we go. Full speed. Gonna try to keep it keep it going straight here. Okay, that's my slow-mo. Make sure I had that button ready. Alright. Oh no. Oh, it's... What? No! 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 What the heck just happened? I felt like the... Uh, you know, it might have been me hitting the slow-mo and going out of it. I think it bounced the car, and this car sets so low to the ground that I believe it bottomed out and made me flip. All right, let's do that again. I'm going to keep that, though. That was awesome. All right, take two. Here we go. Ford GT versus the police here. Oh, yeah, buddy. Okay, we are not going to go until... Oh, no, I'm not doing anything right now. It's still kind of bouncing a bit. Bouncing a bit. All right, slow-mo now. All right, we should be good. Kind of correct it over to the right a bit. I don't know if this is going to work at all. Uh, we'll see. Oh, the Ford GT is coming sliding in. He's going to hit the police roadblock here. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, the roadblock annihilated it. Wow! I guess that... Yeah, that actually isn't unexpected, to be honest with you. That roadblock, even though it's a very small explosive... Yeah, it... Oh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. Hold on, let's get back in it. All right. Wait, is that where the seat ended up? Is Bob already back in the... Is he in the patrol car right now? There's an engine setting in the patrol car, and I think as far as what it's saying... Oh, Bob's right beside it. Okay. I thought Bob landed in the patrol car. All right, well, that was definitely not a uh, not a win there. That police roadblock is uh, that's stronger than I thought it would be. We might do another scenario on the uh, the bridge in the canyon and set up a massive roadblock. I think I can get a little bit more speed with the diesel there. Uh, let's try that again now that the roadblock's out of the way. All right, four GT attempt number. I'm gonna call this three because technically the first one where we crashed. Uh, that was still pretty good. Right, here we go. Ooh, it's a little sideways. 
All right, punch through. We need to get to the back police roadblock. Here we go. Yes. Oh, it bounced there. I, that was not the slow mo bouncing that. It bounced up beforehand. Here we go. Crash through the police cars. Oh, these cars are too. Actually, you know what? We just. Oh, we propelled the police car. This is actually just a cool looking crash. Dude, that Ford GT got some air. Oh, it still might get the other roadblock. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna land right on top of the other cop car here. Uh, oh, oh, this looks like something out of like a Fast and the Furious movie. It's actually Bob and the Furious. He's still in there. Uh, question is, are we gonna be able to skid far enough to hit the roadblock? I don't know. Let's go full speed. Some pieces are right beside it. Hold on, does the car still drive? Oop, hold on, get into it. Hey, it still drives. That's ridiculous. That was actually cool looking. I can see why you guys wanted to see a little bit more natural looking crashes. You know, that's good and all, but I still feel like it's a little disappointing that we haven't completely destroyed the site. I mean, maybe we can have a nice happy medium. We got a na couple natural crashes there, but we're going to leave all this right here and we're going to stick down a couple little trigger, we're going to call them trigger bombs. And we're going to run something that is completely way too fast down this road into this crash. That was still cool though. That was actually kind of impressive looking. Alright, so we have a build here called the World's Fastest Lunch. This thing is made by Master of Confusion. Now, I must warn you, this is way too fast. Now, check this out. This is a sandwich, or you know what we're going to call that? That actually looks like a burger. That looks like a beef patty in here. So we'll call this a, a Komodo burger style thing, and we're just going to go, ooh, <laughs> oh, 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 no, oh, that's going to be great, huh? We need to set this down. Now, this thing is compact with bombs, too. So not only are you going to get the really speedy collision, you're going to get an explosion. All right, so we had our natural crash. It is time to go a little overboard here. The world's fastest sandwich is in place. A little laggy at the moment, but we're going to have to deal with it. Here we go. Ooh. Oh no, we are cruising so fast. Oh. oh, oh no, what just, what the heck just happened? Oh, let's get through the other side. Oh, so the world's fastest sandwich is even like way too fast for slow-mo. Oh, we got a good explosion though. Is there going to be anything left? Oh, what's that sound? Oh, a building went down. Oh, jeez. Hey, look, there's still a Bob just setting up here. Perfectly fine. That is a lot of smoke. What the heck just happened on? Let's go full speed. Oh. Oh. Where did the, uh, where did the cars go? Oh. There's where the, uh, the Ford GT ended up. Where did the cop cars go? I'm dead serious about that. Where did they, uh, the ones back here... Which did destroy... Oh, it did a... Oh, it put a pretty big hole in the construction site over here. That one... We lost some bobs over here. And we definitely lost some police cars, and I don't know where they went. Now, uh, sadly enough... Oh, that's where the, the sandwich is. Wherever this is. That... Okay. That's probably a cop... No, that's a roadblock. That's a cop car. That's a cop car. That's probably a cop car. Okay, so this one made it here. That's probably another cop car. There's the construction site. There's, oh, there's the Ferrari. I don't know where this is. And then here's this. You know, this didn't blow up though. All right, well, we need to finish this off real quick. Uh, you guys are gonna wanna see this blow up, of course. So we got a bomb here. We're gonna set it in the inside and we are just gonna go, I think it's middle mouse. Slow down time, here we go. Uh, one, of these uh, one of these actually does it. Uh, driver bomb. Maybe we just need to stick this inside the wall. Let's do this. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Bob went flying. Bob went flying. There we go. I just took out the dealership. That was pretty sweet. Wow. That dealership is strong. Yeah, it's using some of those scalable bricks. I still blew a hole. Oh, it's on fire. Oh, the dealership's on fire. Hey, at least the uh, the ceiling fans are still going. It can still blow out the smoke. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this uh, little crash scenario here. I've got one last thing that I want to do. 
and it's going to require the bridge on the canyon map. We are going to set up the ultimate police roadblock, and we're going to see what happens here. That looks so epic. All right, this is our final scenario for the day, and Mr. Burnout Bob, he has been cornered by the police. This is Bob's final stand. He has stolen a snowplow, and you can see he's in here with all of his craziness. But he did make a, a slight modification to the snowplow. Instead of the V12, he put in a V8 drag engine. So, our job is, let's go all the way down here to the end of the bridge and check this out. The police have pulled out all the stops here. We have roadblocks, cop cars, more cop cars, even more cop cars, a SWAT van, roadblock, and more cop cars. Yes. Their intent is to stop Burnout Bob. Now, question is, will Burnout Bob make it through this? We shall have to see. Now, uh, forbid uh, Burnout Bob would have stolen a train because he just would have cruised right by everybody, but we're not going to talk about that. The police knew it. The police knew that he had a snowplow. So, Burnout Bob is ready in his drag racing snowplow because that makes sense out here in the desert. I don't know where he would have found one of these, but, oh well, we're just going to roll with it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, snowplow. Oh, boy. Oh, this is fast. Uh-oh, this is a little shaky. Uh, I'm hoping the plow holds together. Ooh. Is he going to make it? Oh, Burnout Bob's a little loose. Oh, this is sideways. Okay, on. Gather it back. Gather it back. We probably shouldn't have started all the way down the bridge here. All right, here we go. He's got it gathered here. All right. Uh, he's looking for the roadblock. Oh, yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Here we go. Burnout Bob and all of his craziness. Uh, he's coming into the snowplow. Oh, actually, I said he was coming in the snowplow. He's actually coming in the roadblock here. All right. There's the roadblock. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, you know this is a this is an alternate method that Bob is using here. He's uh he's decided instead of going through the roadblock, he will go over the roadblock. Are we gonna clear this? Wow. I would say that's an escape for Bob. Bob wins this round. Come on, let's let it land. Uh. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that to happen. I knew that roadblock was gonna have some sort of effect, but. Yeah, he just jumped the roadblock. That's not that's not what we want to see here. Anyways, we'll say that version of uh, Burnout Bob made it out. He probably is on foot right now, and he's running down the canyon. All right, let's uh, try that one more time. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. I think we're going to stick with full speed here. That way the plow stays on the ground. How many are we going to make it? They're waiting to punch it, waiting to punch it. Okay, punch it. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, he almost made it through the whole thing. Oh. Dude. That was awesome. Hold on, it's still going. Can Bob escape? I need the back tires to touch. Oh, Bob's probably going to get arrested here. Oh. No. Come on. Escape the roadblock. Escape him. We are burning out on top of a couple of cars right now. I'm sure the police don't appreciate this. Uh-oh. Bob might be taken into custody here. Oh, let's examine. How much did we take out? We took out the whole roadblock except for the pat or like the last two cars. Even though the one car has quite a bit of damage. That probably looked cool. Let's watch that in slow-mo real quick. I'm just gonna slow down the footage. Oh, look at the wreckage. The absolute Lego carnage. That is awesome. There's a couple cop cars that are completely gone. Like, they're just piles of rubble right now. There's a couple seats right there. That's awesome. And Mr. Burnout Bob is going to be taken into custody. He might have to disappear for a week or two until he escapes. Hey, maybe that could be one of our next crash scenarios. Uh, Burnout Bob escapes jail. But anyways, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Brick Rigs. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode here today. If you have any suggestions for crash scenarios, comment below. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit the thumbs up button. It helps out the channel. And we will see you guys next time in Brick Rigs.
Thank you.